today i would like to describe how jsp works using java beans now the question that arises in our mind what is a java bean a java bean is basically a java class that can be used as a reusable software component if you can remember the three tier client server based web application architecture it is basically having three tiers like presentation tier business tier and the data access tier it is basically the business logic part that is embedded in the business tier so it is having a very good impact on building web based application now there are certain rules to follow for a particular java bean that has been developed it is a public class it must be defined under a package it has a public getter and setter methods to read from and write to properties now the question that the uh, audience might ask me what is a property a property is basically an instance variable of the java bean class mostly it is having private access specifier being associated now we'll be using the getter and setter method to deal with the properties of java bean now what are the jsp action tags for java beans we can have three types of action tags for dealing with java beans number 1 jsp colon use bean it is basically used for instantiating a java bean next comes jsp colon set property it is used to set the property of a java bean thirdly we have got jsp colon get property which is basically used to get the property of a java bean now we'll see how to use these tags to deal with java beans using jsp so we'll use the netbeans id first we are going to create a project new project java web project representing a web application so i am taking the default name here next press finish then it will create a directory structure for you automatically so i am just expanding it after expanding it now i would like to create a java bin say for example i will be creating a java class say the name of the class is circle i would like to create a class named circle it will be having a property named radius now i am going to create methods for calculating the area value for the circle so i must provide a package name here say for example the name of the package is com.example so it is the name of the class it's a public class and it is the name of the package com.example i press finish here so it will create a automatic class structure for you so now i will be creating a property here say double radius so so for example it is having private access specifier being added now i will be creating the getter and setter methods for it right click on it insert code setting the getter and setter methods so it will be creating automatically the getter and setter methods for you so it is basically property just have a quick look at the getter method and the setter method the getter method is used for getting the variable and its corresponding value and uh, the setter method is basically used for setting the value of the radius so just have a look at it the name of the variable is radius for the getter method and the for setter method it is uh, basically starting with get and set then for the variable radius the first letter is being capitalized so that is a default java bean specification to be followed here now the objective is to create a method that will be basically calculating the area value for it so now i will be 
creating a read only property because there is no property named area here i can do it in java bin without declaring a property i can have a read only property so it is basically for read only property and i don't have to specify it or declare it as a part of the class that we did earlier for the variable radius so i need to change the function or method definition so it is basically pi r square so 3.14 into radius into radius that is the formula so i have created it so if you would like to create another formula for calculating perimeter you can also do it so again it will be representing a read only property peri so here the formula is little bit different 2 pi r pi is denoted by 3.14 so it is basically the formula so in that way i have created or developed the java bin now i would like to create a html file say for example i can create a html file here under web pages i am just expanding it say simple html file say it is named new html press finish now as usual i will be removing the unnecessary part it is not required at all so it must be having h3 tag and it will be center align so just i will format this so it will be named as input form I would like to take a value for the radius. So now I will create a form here, HTML form. It will be doing it automatically for you. Now I can have an action. That means to which page it will be transferred. Till now we have not created the JSP page that will be using or calling the Java means. Say for example, it is named test.jsp. I will create it later. And the HTTP method that I will use here is basically named post. That is HTTP post method. Now I will be having some text box like input type text. It will have some name. Say the name is data, or oh, then comes it will be basically text. So that is why I need to change it. So then comes submit. So input type. submit like it will have a submit button and the value that it will show on the screen it is also submit like but ac is being capitalized here so uh, so the html form has been generated now comes the jsp program that i would like to create here so the name is test.jsp so now under web pages, I will create a JSP page that is named test. So press finish. So again, it will be creating a page for us and the content of the HTML file just created within the JSP page. But 
the content will be obviously different so i need to make necessary changes because the title will be different so it will be jsp using java bins same thing will be copied here so now i need to use some of the jsp tags like declaration tag and the scriptlet tag to deal with java variables so declaration tag followed by the scriptlet tag so first i need to declare some variable like string str double val so str that is the string type variable will be used for storing the text content that is taken from here like it is named as data so it will be having the same name data so now it will be getting converted into double type variable so double dot parse double so the name of the variable here is str so now i'll be creating an instance of the java bin named circle by using the jsp colon use bin so first i like to create an object say the name of the object is circle 1 it is representing a representing an instance of the circle class so i need to specify the fully qualified class name that is com.example.circle and i have to mention the scope also like it is within the page it might be having request session or application as per the requirement so now i'll be setting the property by calling the setter so that can be done in jsp by using the set property method so i'll be just having a name attribute so it is having the same value of the instance now it will be representing a property the property is basically radius its value will be set by calling the setter and the value will be denoted by the expression tag that is val because it is now storing the value and it will be denoted by this so it has been set now i need to call the get property action tag to call the corresponding getter methods so i need the area and the perimeter so first jsp colon get property so it is having same thing like the previous one but the property will be different it will be area now i will be putting line break here so i can put here two line breaks so now it will be showing so i can use the bold tag also like for better representation of the result so it is done so now it is just copied here but the property will be different and the thing that we are going to calculate here the perimeter representing it by peri so it will be having peri also because in that it has been defined so now i am calling the html file place the value 9 here and press the submit button it will calculate the area and perimeter value for you so i hope that you have understood the logic of using jsp with java bins i hope that you have thoroughly watched my video and if you have liked it don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel here is the link and please visit my website have a nice day thank you